Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about my hobbies, which is primarily just cross stitch. So I will primarily just talk about cross stitch. Uh, it is May 29th. Happy May. Happy almost June. It's my grandmother's birthday today. So happy birthday. I'll call you because you don't she doesn't watch these. <laughs> I'll call her. Um, I'm in a new, new location and I know it's probably very echoey, so I'm sorry, but my room is in a state of chaos right now because I am in the process of installing an air conditioning unit in my window, so I couldn't film in my room. So we're in my living room. My roommate is at work. I'm not throwing off anybody's groove except for my own because I know it's going to be really echoey and uh, the light is over here so like I get I can get some dramatic lighting but only from this side that's okay uh, we have um, pl plastic horizontal blinds and the windows are all open so if you hear like a tick, 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 that's them rattling against each other so I'm sorry about that um, yeah the, this apartment has wonderful natural light, but it has no no overhead lighting in the living room. So, like, this is where I sit and stitch. So I have, like, my little stitching lamp, and then I sit here. But there's no... Oh, I should show you the ceiling. Okay, hang on, because I'm going to tilt you backwards. So just hang, hang on to something. I'm going to show you the ceiling. So here we go. A flower really pretty flower I'm nervous because there's so many of you hello to all of you so many humans there is considerably more of you this month than there was last month email <laughs> anybody want to buy a charmed aroma candle I don't but I continue to get the emails just in case uh, sorry yes hello to everybody who is new thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my previous video. Thank you for subscribing if you did. I felt like a, oh, there's a windstorm happening. I felt like a rock star last month. And I was just so thankful for everybody who like talked to me on the comments of my videos or interacted with me in the comments on theirs. Talked to me on Instagram. I was so overwhelmed in a very good way and very thankful. So thank you for caring <laughs> thank you for investing some time in me i i really appreciate it i uh, i know everybody says this but i'm really not a numbers person in fact now that i know that there's more of you who will see this potentially right away i i feel like i have to be very like i have to be more i have to be paying attention to making sure that i'm remaining to be my normal self you know what i mean so that you don't feel like you're duped <laughs> it's okay performance jitters I guess uh, but thank you um, I want to say a couple huge big thank yous to some very specific people who shouted me out in their videos first and foremost I would like to thank Joe at Belushi Stitches you are my first YouTube friend my first cross stitching friend uh, you saved my life with Gecko Rouge so you've honestly saved my stitching experience with Gecko Rouge with your cheat for braiding all of the um, threads. So thank you, Joe. Uh, huge shout out to Darcy, Darcy Cameron, for your very kind words in your video. I was I was uh, taken taken aback. I was shocked a little, um, but very in in a nice way. It almost made me cry. I called my mom and I was like, Mom, <laughs> my my mom stitches too. She watches YouTube, like she watches Floss Tube, also. So I was like, Mom, 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 you know Darcy Cameron? She's like, Yeah. And I said, Oh, you really should. So then I had to, I had her on the phone and I was replaying that part in Darcy's video where he's like viciously nice to me. She was like, that is so cool. So thank you, Darcy. And thank you for continuing to talk to me on Instagram. I do enjoy your stories. Um, so thank you for that. And also congratulations again on your princess. I'm incredibly jealous that you are finishing your hate as I am just sort of still working at the, at the beginning of mine. 
one day. Also, um, I think you should only stitch chessy, like only, and then finish chessy so that I can see that finished. Thank you. That's what you should do. Um, thank you to Claire at Stitch Lit by Claire for your very lovely shout out, and thank you to Emma at Emma X Stitching for your very lovely shout out. I, it, I don't know. I don't even have words to have, as to how thankful I am to all of you for that. So thank you, and uh, hopefully I will live up to the hype. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend that the only person that's gonna watch this is my mother, and then uh, that'll be fine. Um, I did put pink in my hair. If you're thinking, wow, this new lighting makes her hair look slightly pink at the bottom. No, no, I did. I put pink in. Very temporary pink, like, conditioner dye. And also, it's very puffy today, because I walked home in the rain yesterday, and then I immediately put my hair up, because I was like, I don't want to deal with this. And then I fell asleep in the bun, so now my hair is like, pua, pua. It'll calm down. Uh, I do have a life update. So if you do not care about life updates and only want to see my stitching, I will put a timestamp for the stitching down below. If you are going to stick around for this life update, be prepared. It is melancholic, sort of sad. Uh, everybody is still alive, <laughs> but um, when... I've been living in this apartment now for a month and a half, two months, two months, and when I was still living at the house, we adopted a, a cat named Tibbs. He's made appearances in my couple of my previous videos. Uh, we adopted him from the local Humane Society, and they did tell us when we adopted him that he likes to play, and his type of playing is like play fighting, and that was fine by us. Whatever, we're a rough, we can be a rough and tumble kind of playing family, especially with our pets. So we, it didn't deter us, and so we adopted him, and uh, he was, I, and I've said this in my previous videos, where he, he would be, he's good, and then sometimes he's not good. It's almost as if he's like bipolar, where he would be so soft and cute and fluffy and nice, and then all of a sudden, like this, he just viciously attack you for no reason. And um, over the last little while, it was becoming more like pure aggression, not so much play. Cause like his ears would be back, he would have like an angry look on his face, his tail would puff up, you, you know, like he'd be actually aggressive. And uh, which is different than play fighting, right? So he would just go after any, any and all exposed flesh. Uh, and then he was very, very adamant uh, about getting outside and um, we're not a family that can have an outdoor cat. We would just all, all of us would just be so stressed out all the time if our cat was outdoors all the time. So uh, we would have to, if we were coming home with our hands full, we'd have to like throw our stuff down and like catch the cat before he got away, like too far away where we couldn't catch him. And if he got far enough, like he would not come back if he got out. He's not that kind of cat. So we were just sort of constantly on door duty and then um, most recently he started peeing everywhere and not like male cats can have urinary tract infections we had one before who did but it wasn't like that it was it was more territorial like he was marking his his area but on our things not my things because i wasn't there but on the things that we owned my family owned and so um, all of those things combined my mom started to really worry so she took him to the vet and the vet was basically like He's a barn cat. He's an outdoor cat. He's not a family cat. He's not a house cat. Um, so, you know, my mom was like, what can we do? And the vet was sort of like, you could try whatever you would like, but he goes, I've had a lot of clients in the past where you, it, it's, you can't really convert a barn cat into a house cat, especially one who's aggressive. So we had a big family meeting about us and, and Tibbs and the best way to go and We decided that we couldn't give him an environment where he would thrive. You know, like we can't have an outdoor cat and if he's going to be peeing on stuff and constantly attacking us, like to the point of, like I'm just, I've been covered in cat, can you even see? Yeah. I've been covered in cat scratches since we got him. And like, again, I don't mind, but 
if it's if it's aggressive, then I do do kind of mind. Um, so we decided that we were going to re-surrender him back to the Humane Society. So my mom called the Humane Society and she was basically just like, we can't. It's not where he needs to be. You need to give him a place where he can be either outside or in a barn. So the Humane Society said that they would take that into consideration and do the best by Tibbs, but we are also their, we are also his fourth home. And so we're a little bit peeved at the Humane Society right now because we think that they sold him to us knowing he would come back because they weren't surprised when we re-surrendered him. They were like, oh yeah, we know him. So we no longer have a cat, but after hours of deliberation and heartbreak and bouncing all over the place, we just decided it was the better option for us and the better option for him. So unfortunately, we no longer have tips, but hopefully he finds a place where he can be himself properly. So that is my melancholic life update. I'm going to move on to the stitching and pump the energy back up. So at the beginning of my videos for stitching, I always show you my finished project that I finished in 2019. I started this channel in 2019. I got three full months of videos up and then life happened. Um, I was working a different job back then and I just... I fell out of the groove and then I sort of lost the motivation to do it every month. That hasn't happened yet, so we're cruising right along into May. Um, but I was at the time I was stitching Soda Stitches Birthstone Girls. And they are all now finished, so I've been showing them to you at the beginning of my videos. <laughs> I'm finishing them myself, so they are amateurly finished on acid-free sticky board and then around them I have that stuff that you put into frames every month I come to this part and I'm like why didn't I look up what those things are called when you're framing something you put the, it's like mat board with like a cutout center frame you'll see you'll see what I mean anyway uh, I so the birthstone for May is an emerald and I also changed her skin color mm -hmm. I took a chance and recharted her skin color. I'm actually really happy with her skin tone, but I'm, I, I stitched something weird in her face. So she has kind of like a kind of face. There she is, emerald. I have a sparkle filament in the gem, like here, and you can really see it in the dark color as I made all the gemstones sparkly, but look at, she's pretty nice. She's a little wrinkly. We're not going to talk about it, but she's pretty nicely, she's pretty nicely centered in the frame. I'm going to, I'm going to do something like put a ribbon or something here that matches the gemstone color. It doesn't feel complete. I just haven't had the time to like sit down and figure out what's missing on all of them because there's 12 of them, but yep, there's Emerald. I really like her dress, so, and her flower and the flower in her hair. She's so cute. June is Pearl. That's all I really have to say about June. My dad's birthday is in June. And Father's Day is in June. And every single year, I say, Dad, what do you want for your birthday? And he goes, I don't know. And then I say, okay, what do you want for Father's Day? I don't know. So then I have to find two things, or one big thing. Shopping for people is hard sometimes. Uh, yes, sorry. I'm going to be full of like little mini tangents, it seems. Sorry if you can hear my blinds. They're having a dance party over there. Um, so I'm going to jump into what I was actually stitching this month. Every month I start the month by stitching the month. <laughs> Every month I start the month by stitching the month. Cricket of the month. Cricket collection of the month. Is <laughs> May. I really like how like crisp this one looks because of the white the cream colored fabric. I like how crisp, crisp that looks. Um, so these ones I started last year in 2020 and my goal last year was to stitch two letters of each month and then this year my goal is to stitch one letter of each month and then next year I will finish them all, hopefully. So if we do our math, that means that May, a three letter word should be finished. Plot twist, it's not because uh, <laughs> Because, two reasons. One, because when I was stitching it last year, um, it was at that point in the lockdown. I think we had just come out of lockdown. 
or something but Michaels did not have like any floss they were picked clean so I, I was missing a lot of colors when I was starting it last last year and then this year I was I was deciding between stitching a letter or finishing what I missed last year because I don't want to finish May a full year before anybody else because she's gonna be lonely sitting languishing by herself waiting for her brothers and sisters to be stitched so I thought okay <laughs> we'll just we'll focus on something small for May and then it'll be an easy finish next year that's that's where I decided to be for that so here is where it is almost finished so last year I stitched the A and the Y and half of the mother <laughs> And I'm missing the top of the daughter's dress. But I stitched M and Y last year. And then this year I stitched the B house um, M. Obviously I'm missing a color in the B house. But yeah, I have a little stork. There's a, I did a, there's a French knot on the stork's knee that I did not do very well. But then I decided that I didn't care. But now that I'm looking at it, I do care. Oh, I might have to redo that French knot. Yeah, so that's May. This is stitched on 32 count linen. It's a creamy color. It's actually the, it's actually the night, I talk about this in every single video. I feel like I'm one of those dolls that you pull the string on their back and they just say the same things over and over again because I'm stitching on the same four projects. So if you pull my string, I will say, the fa these all 12 of these are stitched on the same kind of fabric but they're kind of not because some of them are stiff and then some of them are flappy and some of them are slippery but this one is nice it feels nice but it is still a 32 count linen from the same company as the rest of them so I don't know so that'll be a nice easy finish for next year I'm all about delayed gratification I'm all about it if I can just wait and have a nice finish next year I will wait uh, yes. The, um, the, uh, floss bag that I have for May matches pretty well. Look at that. Beige. These are Ipsy makeup bags. I used to be subscribed to the makeup subscription of Ipsy and they would send all of my makeup in bags. And I just keep my flosses for the projects in these. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say about this. There is not. June is next, obviously, so that'll be good. I can't remember what June looks like. Every time I get to the next one, I'm like, I don't remember what that looks like. I don't remember where I was. I don't remember what it looks like. And then I open and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. After I finished May, I went on and I stitched the Gemini section of the Zodiac Cell that Tiny Modernist is doing. Um, when I was talking about it in my video last month, I was trying to decide if I was going to change one of the girls' hair colors so that they weren't exactly identical. I'm sorry, my floofy hair is really bothering, <laughs> really bothering me. I'm trying to like get it down. Um, hair color, speaking of hair. I, when I was looking at the pattern when I was starting the girls, I realized that their hair interconnects at the bottom. So I couldn't really change the colors because it looked really weird. So I left it as charted except I accidentally changed their chin. I I don't know what happened. I didn't realize until I was stitching the second girl and I was like, that, okay. I don't know, I don't know how I did that. I don't like, you know what? I don't like this location because the lighting hits everything a little bit weird. But that's Gemini. This one is older by a day. <laughs> you can't birth them at the same time. So this one's older by a day. And then like their chins, oh, their chin, like it's one, one, and one, but it's charted two and one. So I moved it over, I moved this one over one. And then this one is actually over two from where it's supposed to be. I don't know, I'm not sure what happened. And then when I was stitching the second girl, I was like, wait a second, how come their chins don't match? I don't know what it is with chins. So I changed these ones by accident and then over here I changed the Aries one on purpose. I gave him a two point chin instead of a one point chin. I don't know, apparently I have a problem with the chins. And then I got my circle all ready for Cancer. I am a Cancer. I'm really hoping she does a fully pink crab. 
I haven't seen it yet. I hope it's pink. I'd be okay if it was purple, but I would love it if she would do a pink crab because I am a pink crab. Yes. And it's nice because I'm in the middle row because there's four, four, and four. So I'm in the middle row, so there's no, there's not a lot of um, stitching of the border. I get a nice healthy four month break from the border, which will be nice. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully she releases that pattern in the next, she usually, she usually does it like the day before the first. So maybe on Monday we'll see what it looks like. I really hope so, because I, I re I'm just hoping it's pink. I feel like I'm going to be heartbroken, but <laughs> please be pink. Then after the Zodiac Sal, I moved on to my Boho Spring Owl. This is a chart by Gecko Rouge, charted by Gecko Rouge, designed by Sandra Vargas. It is a set of four because there are four seasons. They are all adorable owls. <clears throat> this is spring. This is the second one I'm stitching on. Sandra Vargas is not there, obviously. Isn't it cute? Oh, I'm so excited to actually hit the owls because the first page of all of them is just background stitching. <sighs> and I did hit the winter owl. I hit the tip of the winter owl's eyebrow. So we're going to get there. This is the one where it was magic, easy grid, magic grid, 25 count A to magic grid, and I hate it. It's okay, I'm not gonna go over it again because I, again, I feel like a broken record, but I washed the lines out of this one. I didn't iron it, so it's still really wrinkly, but that's fine. I'm gonna continue to wash the lines out because they make no sense to me and they make me really worried, so it is what it is. I think the next time I do a Gecko Rouge, I will either choose not an Ada, or certainly not the Easy Grid, or I might just not even use the Ada. I just don't like the way that it feels. I don't know why the gridded fabrics always feel so like sandpapery to me. But I have a page finish. Dun -dun. You, wow, this lighting is not as nice as it is in my room. Ugh. I offended it. Page finish. Fully finished page. Page one. It is basically this whole three shades of pink and then a half half a beige circle and that's it that's a day <laughs> I was stitch I stitched these diagonally like I do the 10 by 10 grid diagonally down but as I was sort of closing in on this far, far corner I was stitching one stitch at a time diagonally so like I would be going just straight diagonally one stitch at a time and I I'm having a hard time with this and avoiding seeing the chart lines in the pattern just because of the way I, I guess I stitch. I can really see it up here. You can't see it on camera, but I can see it in, in person. Like I can see the 10 by 10 squares, how I stitched them. And then when I switched into more of a diagonal, like one by one diagonal stitch, I you can't see them anymore at the bottom. It just looks cleaner to me. So I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna stitch summer just like that from the start and see if I really do like that better. So. Yeah, so this was the last month I was stitching on spring. So June is the first month of summer, so I will be stitching summer in June. Which means I have to re oh, which means I have to stitch, oh, wash that fabric and braid all of those threads. What am I gonna even have the time? Ugh, such a frustrating hobby. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's not oh, it's washing out because of this lighting. There. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like, obviously. The eyebrow, this eyebrow is like right there. So I'll see it next year. It's interesting because I was stitching on this one for three months and I just barely managed a page finish. But I was stitching winter boho for only two months and I got a page finish and a, and, and a bit. So I don't know what happened, but I guess I lost my stitching mojo this month. This This season, I should say. Ouch. Ouch. So that one goes away until next year. Um, and then I moved on to my favorite cross stitch project ever, the love of my life. I would die for this project. Is that it? Am I over exaggerating? Not really. I probably would actually die for this project. It is my Hade. It is June Blooms. 
charted by Heaven and Earth Designed, Designs, designed by Margaret Morales, who I now follow on Instagram. She, oh, I love her. You need to follow her on Instagram or at least look at her stuff on Instagram. She's, she's drawing the Studio Ghibli characters. If you watch Studio Ghibli, she's drawing them and they're beautiful. So I don't, this is, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I'm so in love with the way she does her faces. So this is where I am. This is two pages, two pages and two rows finished. When you saw it last, I was up here somewhere, like almost exactly where this color shift happens is, is actually halfway across the pattern. So I'm halfway across the first row of pages. How exciting. I'm excited. Progress. And just all really pretty blues and purples. Uh, she's down here somewhere, so I still won't see her for a while, but absence makes the heart grow fonder, you know what I'm saying? So that is my Heaven and Earth design. I cannot remember for the life of me what the count is on this fabric, but it feels really pretty. It's like a nice beigey, peachy color. I didn't want to do this. I wanted to do this on fabric that was nice to hand, handle. I like. I know you don't see it. Once it's all stitched, you won't see the fabric, but it's going to take me years. So I should enjoy it while I'm stitching it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So those are all of my stitching projects. Um, four. I, this weekend, I'm taking a break from stitching, and I am doing a diamond painting. I know. Who am I? A diamond painter apparently. I, uh, I've, I've been having the diamond painting bug for a couple of weeks and it just so happened that the way I stitched this month left this weekend open. So I could have kept going on Junie but I got, I finished the whole row so I thought you know what let's just put her away at a place where she's like has a solid type of finish and then I can do a diamond painting. I would show you the diamond painting but it is huge and I'm actually filming on top of it so I can't. I'll see if I can put in like a picture of it. It's from an Etsy shop and it is the Eeveelutions, like the Pokemon Eevee and all its evolutions. Because Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. So that's something that I like. I do like to diamond paint, but not as much as I like to cross stitch. So I don't diamond paint as much as I probably could if I wanted to. That's everything. What's next? Next month is the same, uh, June Cricut, starting summer boho, continuing the Zodiac South and continuing to stitch on Juni. I don't know if I'll have time to diamond paint next month, but if I do, maybe I will. Uh, I'm also currently trying to figure out what I want to do for my birthday start. My birthday is in July, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I have two, two things that I might, I very well could, might start them both and justify it because I'm turning 30, so. I can start as many darn things as I want. The first one is, I've been watching this Alice in Wonderland stitch along from Owl Forest. I've been watching this like a hawk because I like it, but I need to know what the Cheshire Cat looks like before I commit to it. Alice in Wonderland is my favorite story. The Cheshire Cat is my favorite all time fictional character ever. Um, so I need to know what he looks like in order for me to decide if I want to stitch it. I'm, I like the three color one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure it just sounds like gibberish, but Owl Forest has a Alice in Wonderland stitch along. There's two versions. There's like a full color version and there's like a three color version. And I'm, I like the look of the blurred out three color version. So I would do that one over the colored one, but I don't know because the Cheshire Cat and I won't know for a while because he's like... He's like over here somewhere in the pattern. It's hard to explain without showing you the pattern, but I don't know yet. However, I did buy the thread. <laughs> I bought the thread from Owl Forest, so it's coming. So either I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna stitch it with that thread or I'm not gonna like it and then I'll just have the thread to stitch on that. The other option is I was watching, because I had the diamond painting stitching bug, the diamond painting stitching bug, the diamond painting bug. I watched Diamonds and Washi, who is like the diamond painting queen on YouTube, and she did an unboxing video of some kits that she ordered from DIY Moon Shop. It's a diamond painting shop from the Philippines. 
and she opened up a Margaret Morales piece. Margaret Morales is the designer of June Blooms, i.e. my favorite designer right now. And the, the piece that she opened was stunning. I love the way Margaret Morales does her faces and her eyeballs. Love them, love them. So I was like, oh, cool. So I looked at this DIY moon shop. They licensed these pieces from the, from the artists. And uh, Heaven and Earth Design has three licensed pieces from Margaret Morales. And I really only like June Blooms from the selection that they have of, of theirs. But DIY, DIY Moon Shop has so many more. There's so many more. And, I, oh, and so they have a Margaret Morales designed Alice in Wonderland piece. And I almost, almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack, so I bought it. <laughs> I very well could be starting an Alice in Wonderland diamond painting for my birthday start. We'll see. We'll see. It'll most likely be both. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to find a way to justify the cat, even if I don't like him. And then I'm just going to stitch. I'm just going to do both. And that's fine because it's my 30th birthday and I'm allowed to do whatever I want. I'm sorry. I'm having a hair malfunction. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland diamond painting. Alice in Wonderland cross stitch. Hopefully for my birthday. I need to show you my tattoo. Darcy brought to my attention that I talked about my Alice tattoo, Alice Wonderland inspired tattoo, in my earlier videos, and that I never actually showed it. I'm gonna attempt to do it. It's behind my ear. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes, because I don't know how I'm gonna do it, so. It's the moon, right? It's a moon, but it's also the Cheshire Cat's smile, if you can see like the tiny, tiny lines. Um, and there's a reason why I got it, and there's a reason why it's behind my ear. It's because my favorite quote that the Cheshire Cat says is, he's having a conversation with Alice when she's lost in the woods, and she's like, you know, where do I go? And the Cheshire Cat is like, where do you want to be? And she says, I don't know. So then he says, well, then it doesn't, doesn't matter which way you go. And that's kind of my life motto. Like, if you don't have a destination in mind, then it doesn't matter what you do. Just, you know, do what you want to do. If you don't have a designated uh, destination, live your life. YOLO. I don't know. Not YOLO. Take that out of there. Scratch that off. I want my tattoo to have nothing to do with YOLO. I do want another one. I do want another one. I want a teeny, 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 tiny little lotus flower on my wrist because I love the... The meaning behind the lotus flower, it means new beginnings, breathe, rebirth. Not that, I'm, not that I'm rebirthing anything about myself, I just, the lotus flower is my flower of choice. Um, stitching, yes. Diamond painting, yes. Talked about my birthday, yes. Oh, I have a book recommendation for you. I do. It's a series. And I need you to read it because then maybe it will get made into a show. <laughs> it's my favorite. My, it's my favorite book series. Um, so here's my sales pitch. Ready? Do you like murder mysteries? Do you like will they, won't they romances? Do you like stories set in Victorian England? If you do, do I have a story for you? Um, it's, it's a series. I, I did tell you it was a series. I am currently holding the fifth book. It is by De, uh, Deanna Rayborn. It's the Veronica Speedwell series. The first book in the series is called A Curious Beginning. It's, I think it has a blue cover. Um, she, Veronica, is a uh, set in Victorian England, as I said. She is a butterfly collector. So she independently travels around the world and catches butterflies for herself and to sell to private collectors. And she's so cool. She's like, especially in the first couple of books, her sass and her attitude, definitely worth the read. He, the main, the main him in the book, uh, he goes by Stoker. He has a big fancy long name, but he goes by Stoker. He is a army doctor and he's a taxidermist. And he has a very similar vibe to Pride and Prejudice's Darcy. He has that like gruff exterior with like a heart of gold and like 
kind of a mean sweetheart, you know what I'm saying? And he, he, they describe him in the book, the way they describe him, he kind of sounds like a pirate. So think pirate Darcy from Pride and Prejudice, not Darcy Cameron, although I don't know if Darcy Cameron does taxidermy. If you do, then maybe this is your autobiography. And she, if you have watched Mrs. Fisher's Murder Mysteries, it was on Netflix for a while. It's an Australian show. She's very much like that character, and I love Miss Fisher. I would love to be Miss Fisher one day. So it's like Miss Fisher mixed with Darcy from Pride and Prejudice, set in Victorian England with murder mysteries, and she and him, will they, won't they? Couldn't tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But the other, the author is writing another series, which I don't like as much as this one, but that one's being made into a show. This one should be made into a show. So I really want this one to be made into a show. So read the first book and let me know what you think. If you're disappointed, then we need to have a chat about your taste in literature. I, th I think somebody is mowing their lawn. I don't know if you can hear that. So I'm sorry if you can. What a great way to end the video. Um, I will see you at the end of June. Yes. Thank you all. Again, thank you all for wasting your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Great. Okay, happy birthday to all the Geminis. Happy birthday to all the Cancers except for me because my birthday is in July. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.